Hey, this is Coral, and today we are going to unbox another Spider-Man. So stay tuned. Like I mentioned in the intro, uh, this is another Spider-Man that we are going to unbox. I already have a few of them already behind me. Uh, this one is just the usual blue-red Spider-Man, but the thing is, this is part of my Avengers Collection Spider-Man due to its base. And with that, let's start the unboxing. I think this uh, statue will have an art box since all the statues I received from the studio uh, does have an art box. And yeah, I am correct. Yeah! This will be the Spider-Man that we will be unboxing and this is actually inspired from one of Del Otto's art. So we have the front view of Spider-Man, on the side we have his back, and on the front we have the similar photo, and again at the side we have his side, and on the top we have Spider-Man's logo. So let's start. The Okay, we have the usual black foam. So we have the usual uh, black foam and velcro straps. So we are going to look for the base first. I think this only comes in one layer. So here is the base. So here we have the base, it's a bunch of dead Ultron sentries and we have Captain America shield on top and this is where Spider-Man is going to rest. And here we have the sticker and the edition size is just 18 pieces for this one. But there's also a pure black version and a retro version of this Spider-Man. So yeah, so I got the AP. And it's sculpted by Andre de Mello. Next, we're going to get Spider Man. Here we have a crouching Spider Man, more like a very relaxed pose. He has a lot of textures on the blue, I mean red parts on his suit. The blue one doesn't have any uh, textures but does have a lot of shading to emphasize the armor. His right foot does have a peg and while his left foot does have a peg and key which will go to the base. There you go. Let's start on the upper left part of the uh, styro. So here we have the unmasked portrait for this uh, Spider-Man. So this is Peter Parker. Uh, the eyes are decals and nothing much to show on his mouth since it's closed. Very nice skin tone, very fair and a lot of strands sculpted to his hair. It's really nice. Okay. There you go. Next is we have his right hand. Uh, this is an open right hand which is a very relaxed pose and he does have a web shooter here. Very Del Otto. And there you go. Next is we have the matching left hand for uh, this one again let's put that in all the web lines seem to be aligned and the seam aren't that visible which is very very nice okay moving on we have a ultron sentry uh, left hand i think that will go here 
Okay. Next we have a uh, Ultron Sentry portrait, and I think it goes here. Yep. And we have a bunch of uh, small sentry parts. Oh, these are for the Ultron heads. These are his antennas. Okay. So this is number three. And okay. so this is number two. So this guy is number two. Okay. And we have the last uh, sentry head, which goes here at the back. Okay. Okay, so we have the first mass portrait. Uh, his eyes does have this like honeycomb uh, design to it which is really nice it's uh, also a little bit glossy so let's try that out there you go we have the second mass portrait this time the eyes are painted with uh, gray or something silver I think it's supposed to be uh, silver so I think they were trying to go for a chrome finisher but maybe decided just for silver but it still looks pretty nice and very unique than the usual color white. And we have the another portrait, mass portrait again. This time it's kind of painted with gloss white or I think it's pearl white since the light reflects, there's some bluish uh, reflections on the paint just really really nice as well nice touch uh, the portraits are different from each other not just by looks but also by paint and lastly we have the del Otto eyes which is just painted with white and this is supposed to be the right portrait for this spider-man okay next we have a mask of spider-man i think if you don't want to display the mask portraits then you can use this one and that will go with this uh, hand switch out okay so this is the switch out i guess for this uh hand i mean mask of spider-man okay so it's there's a magnet there you just need to find it and here we go. Okay, so to end the video, let's do some quick measurements for uh, Spider-Man. So the highest point of the statue is obviously his head, which is 21.5 inches tall. And since you need to display uh, Spider-Man on his side, uh, the furthest point of the statue would be his hand and uh, the base at the back. So that will be around... 13 and a half inches and as for the deepest point of the statue that would be uh, the Ultron's head and that will be 9 inches deep 
So to end again, uh, my one comment about this statue is that the webs here below the shield uh, is not painted really well. It's just painted with white and it sometimes it's hard to tell uh, what it is besides the one on the shield. I think a few uh, paints of gray or black would have improved that part of the statue. Nonetheless, it's still a pretty good Spider-Man statue. Uh, the seams on his arms and neck are almost uh, non-existent actually. You, could, you couldn't even tell uh, which part of the arms are removable as well as the ones on his neck which is great. It kind of looks like that it came in one piece. And I also love all of the switch out that was included uh, on this Spider-Man. You have a lot of options. Uh, like this portrait with some honeycomb on its eyes and this one with a silver paint and also some new uh, colors like this one uh, it's more white and have some blue hue on the sides it kind of looks like it's pearl white and yeah I don't think also that this would match my Avengers collection due to the scope on Spider-Man is kind of stylized, if that makes any sense. But I'm hoping that it would still look good. Nonetheless, I think this is a pretty good centerpiece statue. A pretty good centerpiece Spider-Man for all Spider-Man collectors. This is it for me. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Carl, and see you in the next one.